The West Coast of Florida is a real draw for many people. And a lot of those folks that are looking to move here will choose Sarasota partially because of the Siesta Key beaches. This video is going to be about highlighting yet another beach area that I feel like you really need to know about and that might actually be a better beach option for you. That's what we're gonna talk about today in this video. My name is Kitrin Fitzenreiter. I'm a local real estate agent in Sarasota, Lakewood Ranch, Bradenton and Venice. Let's get right into this video. Siesta Key Beach on Siesta Key gets all the glory mainly because of the white powdery like sand which is made up of 99% quartz the white beach area and there's a really cute village right nearby Siesta Key Beach is also consistently ranked as a top beach in the US and gets most of the publicity of all the beaches in Sarasota but here's a little insider secret though many locals if not most prefer the Lido Key Beach area over Siesta Key and I'm going to show you why that is it starts with a drive over Ringling Bridge from downtown Sarasota. The drive absolutely is one of the most scenic drives in Sarasota and I would go as far as to say it's one of the most scenic drives in all of Florida offering majestic water views and city views. The views are just spectacular from the bridge. It's also around this area here that you will find some of the most amazing sunset spots that are not directly on the beach. So for example Bird Key Park and Hearts Landing offer fantastic views. And so here's a little tip for you if you come visit or even if you live in the area and you've just never been to these spots to see a sunset, you definitely have to do it at least once, trust me. Ringling Bridge connects to St. Armand Circle, which is adjacent to Lido Key. about the Lido Key location. I believe in many ways it is more centrally located than Siesta Key. So Lido Key is a barrier island of the coast of Sarasota and it's just about 4.5 miles west of downtown Sarasota over the Ringling Bridge. And so it's so easy to go from a beach setting to an urban setting because downtown Sarasota is really close to Lido Key. And it's in downtown Sarasota where you'll find more variety of restaurants. There's a lot to do in terms of culture, arts, theater, and again, really close to Lido Key. Longboat Key and Anna Maria Island are very close by, about 10 to 15 miles away to the north from Lido Key. And those are destinations that people go to from all over the world, whether it is for the beaches or golfing. And it just provides somebody that lives on Lido Key or close to Lido Key, yet other beach options that are just as dreamy as Lido Key is. For some retail therapy, the University Town Center, which is Sarasota's main shopping area, is just about seven miles away, which makes it really convenient if you wanted to do some serious shopping. So as you can tell, the beach area is very close to most main attractions in the area. And just like Siesta Key has a central gathering spot, which is the cute little village in Siesta Key, so does Lido Key. St. Arnold Circle is in walking distance to Lido Key and is the shopping destination and dining destination with over 130 shops and restaurants there. And so I actually believe that there's way more to see and do in this area than there is in Siesta Key Village. Some of the best restaurants are right on St. Arnold Circle and they include Shore and Columbia Restaurant. So if you're in the area, make sure you stop by the really great restaurants. Let's talk about the beaches. In walking distance from St. Arnold Circle, on Benjamin Franklin Drive are the beaches. And they're not just one or two beach choices, but three altogether. And they're very different from each other, which is really great because it gives you a nice variety depending what your mood is for the day. These beaches are North Lido, Lido, and South Lido. By the way, Lido in Italian means shore, so the name really does make sense here. Let's start with North Lido Beach, which is the first one on the Benjamin Franklin Drive stretch. It's also my favorite because it's the least crowded of the three and perfect for a relaxing day. The setting here feels very natural, very authentic. It's rustic looking and partially because of the grassy savannas that are all around here. This beach here feels like it brings things back to basics, far more so than the other two beaches. For that reason also, I feel like this beach is great for a relaxing sunset walk, partially because it's also much less crowded than the other two.
sandwich between North Lido and South Lido Beach is Lido Key Beach. Lido Key Beach is the most frequented beach on Lido Key. So it really isn't a surprise that most of the hotel options are gonna be right in front of Lido Key Beach. Now Lido Key Beach is amenities rich. It's here, you'll have a big parking area, bathroom facilities, there's lifeguards on duty, pool, food court, picnic tables. So this is a great beach area for really everyone to enjoy. It's a lot of fun. Now if you head further down Benjamin Franklin Drive, on the southern tip is South Lido Beach, which is adjacent to the Ted Sperling Park. The Ted Sperling Park is a 100-acre park bordered by four bodies of water, which include the Gulf of Mexico, Sarasota Bay, Big Pass, and Brushy Bayou. You can park for free at the Ted Sperling Park and walk right onto the beach. But people also come here for picnicking, fishing, kayaking, and of course nature hiking because you're right by the park. Now South Lido Beach offers stunning views in so many different directions depending on which side of the beach you're on. The eastern side faces Big Sarasota Pass and the bay and it's really great for beach fishing. It's here where you get to see downtown Sarasota. Now, if you walked around towards the western side, it's there where you'll have an amazing view of Siesta Key. about real estate. Real estate prices here will vary depending on what your budget and living desires are. You could live right on Lido Key, in a condo right by the beach, or a single family home a few streets in. Inventory is low right now and what I see on the market, so condos for example, will start in the $400,000 range. Homes on Lido Key will easily go into the million dollar range and if you venture over to Burt Key, which is an exclusive waterfront community adjacent to Lido Key, it's here where you'll have the most luxurious options. We're talking about multi-million dollar homes. Now that type of budget isn't going to work for most of you, but there's other options. So if you move back over to the mainland, which we know is really close to Lido Key, you have options close to downtown area. There's opportunities in zip code 34239, especially when you look at places such as Southgate and Arlington Park, there's opportunities under a million dollars there. Now, if you ventured further over to the west, which is still in zip code 34239, you'd be in places such as Southside Village, Hudson Bayou, Cherokee Park, which are gonna be much more expensive. This just goes to show you that it is so important that you really get to know the micro neighborhoods because the prices in one zip code can vary dramatically. If you're looking for beaches that are stunning, yet less crowded, and you want to be close to downtown Sarasota, Living on or near Lido Key is going to be a much better option for you than staying closer towards Siesta Key. I'm going to link some of the resources that I have available for you in the description section of this video. So for one, sign up for the free neighborhood news to review the latest data for the zip code of your choice, as long as it falls within these regions here. And this is also a really great way to kind of stay on top of sales trends in a particular area as you'll learn about the medium price and how it fluctuates. Also have a free Sarasota guide if you're interested in getting to know the Sarasota area better. Now do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also think about subscribing to this channel. If you're looking for real estate in Sarasota, Bradenton, Lake Ranch, Venice, Lido Key maybe, maybe you want to find out more information about it, please call me, text me, email me anytime. Now if you're somebody that's looking to sell in the area, I can help you with that as well. I do a lot of the videography myself and I'd love to talk to you about the types of marketing that I would provide you in order to support the sale of your property. Thank you so much for watching, especially until the very end. I always appreciate it when you guys do. Take care.